the light bulb. Created after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments based on Mew. Hold on, that's Mewtwo's origin story. One second. Ah, oh, here it is. All right, uh, the light bulb. It was a good idea. A good idea to everyone. Except my girlfriend. Apparently. Because my girlfriend can't stand sitting in a room with all the lights on. And I can't stand sitting in a dark, depressing room all day. And my son can't stand. Off. On. Off. On. Off. On. She's always turning lights off. I'm always turning lights on. And that's why I built the world's brightest room. Time of death, 1213. I'm fine. I wasn't fine, okay? Because I spent the first couple minutes just letting my eyes adjust to the light, which pretty much just turned into me seeing how long I could stare into the lights without blinking. Ah. Four seconds. Ah. I felt pretty bad about dragging you into this, so I gave you sunglasses to shield your eyes from these Demogorgon lights. Hey, stranger things have happened before season four. Watch it. <laughs> I don't suggest you look directly into the lights, okay? That's what these are for. You're welcome. It is hot in here. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I like it. It's awful. I hate it. I don't like this. Just to make it a little bit easier, uh, this is what I see. And through the power of editing, this is what you see. I decided to do some poorly timed research and Google if you can get a sunburn from light bulbs, which Google reminded me that bulbs and sun are two different things. Then I proceeded to follow the horrible follow-up questions until eventually Google just broke the news to me. Yeah. I guess I've been dead for some time now. Well, that's unnecessary. Can staring into bright lights damage your eyeballs? He said with his eyes closed in pain. I guess we'll never know. There's something about these hot lights that make me thirsty. Lucky for me, I got a pink drink, but it didn't fit my aesthetic, so I got milk instead. The milk was bad. So I decided just to drink paint and get this over with already. The paint was bad too. Don't eat paint. The main issue I'm having is fear. The main problem I'm having is that the breaker keeps popping and the hair on my legs keep standing up, which means there's an electrical storm happening, which... Where? Am I right? <laughs> That's why I'm wearing my Crocs. See? Right there. It's gonna pop. It's gonna pop. It's hot in here. One time when I was like seven, I got shocked by a lamp because I went like this and touched an open wire. I don't know what I was expecting. Superpowers. I was expecting superpowers. There it goes again. Hour two through three, I tried playing VR, but I set the remotes down and they're white and lost forever. Ooh. Not only is it hot, but it is hot. This is just me swinging my arms around in disappointment. This hurt. Quite a bit. I don't remember what I was saying at this point, but I think it's something along the lines of, ow, wow, we don't, hey, guy, watch it. Don't even, wait, you, Wait till mother gets home, and then uh, I punched, punched him. By hour three, I was feeling really weird, just sitting by myself in silence. I'm so bored. And blind. Blinded by the light. <laughs> uh, so I decided just to listen to some music. I had to unplug the Wi-Fi because if I plug anything else in, it'll trip the lights and the lights will turn off, which sound great. So I had to resort to my already downloaded music on YouTube, which I didn't even know I had that. Mystery to me, since I can't see, so we're just gonna point and, point and play. Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. Hour three is also the time I decided to stop listening to music. Hour four, I watched some TV. <laughs> 
but there's obviously one glaring problem. Yeah. Turns out I was watching the back side of the TV. I also had to unplug the fridge to get the TV to work. I did a bunch of stuff to pass the time, uh, but while doing that, I found out something pretty interesting about myself. Turns out I have a really hard time finishing stuff. I tried knitting. I knew this isn't right. I'm getting the hang of something. I made this. Uh oh. <laughs> I wanted to make a painting for Gloria, but me and Bob couldn't settle our differences. Going up here. Can you do that audibly for me, Bob? An 18 by 24 inch. I don't care how big it is, Bob. The touch of the lizard crimson. How do I make crimson out of the seven primaries? The golden green. This is gonna be sky. We can do anything that we want to do. Through Christ. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Know what you said. Halo well, blue. You got it. It's a very warm blue. My canvas is gone, isn't it? I actually tried following a five minute craft, like for serious. I got about four minutes before I got discouraged that mine wasn't looking like theirs. At this point, I actually completed something. A simple jigsaw puzzle, but it's something. I felt this new sense of self-confidence until I realized I haven't even opened the box yet, which was confusing since I spent 30 minutes of my time trying to find a piece that was missing. Found it. My goal was to celebrate every hour by exploding a glitter bomb, but I forgot to do that for the first three hours. So I just ended up shooting them off anytime I got sad or discouraged. Which was pretty often. Those are loud. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Well, now I can't see or hear. Good, that's two of the six. I probably can't even see ghosts anymore. After all the failures, I was feeling pretty stressed. And what's the only thing that helps me with my stress? Nap music. A nap music. And then something just came over me and I started to compose and take all this sadness and this fear and this uncertainty that I was feeling and I started to put it into music, into song. This is gonna cure my sadness, no more cannons. It was almost too good, too good for human ears, only animals. I was putting Mozart out of business 200 years after his death. Take that, or wind it back. Because I got the music that will make your booty go smack. I felt just so inspired by the pain I had experienced today. And I too would like to make your booty go smack and play that song for you now. That's right, nope, just a cheese wheel, I'm losing my mind. Okay, yeah, no, still sad. I tried meditating, but I started to levitate and that creeped me out, so I stopped. Six hours of sitting alone, mostly in regretful silence. I came to a pretty average epiphany. Oh, I'm sweating in my eyes. I'm pretty much just voluntarily putting myself in solitary confinement, aren't I? Well, no, I can leave, so just solitary. Well, I have Wi-Fi, so just mildly uncomfortable. Told you it was average. <laughs> he tooted. <laughs> he tooted. I tooted too, buddy. <laughs> it was getting to be dinner time, I think. So I made dinner in my usual flamboyant fashion. You think I could cook an egg on this? I'm hungry enough to find out. Let me tell you, being in a hot, bright room for eight hours alone with your thoughts really starts to mess with you. If I died right now, would I be able to go towards the light or would I just bump into the wall? Ah. Okay. It's either that or I didn't cook my dinner all the way. I normally work out around this time, but I dress my boxing dummy up in all white because of the aesthetic. So it just became more of a violent hide and seek than anything. Found him. I gave the puzzle another try. Okay, yeah, no, I'm definitely missing pieces. Never mind. It's like 93 degrees. That's not very hot. It's like 112. 150, something like that. I have a pretty bad migraine. It's like I'm taking personal possession over a whole bunch of rice. Migraine. Yeah, okay, my jokes are getting bad. I'm tired. I'm hot. My head is pounding. 
My dinner sucked. Ugh. I don't even know why I'm doing this. This is dumb. This is not how I want to spend my Saturday. <laughs> Am I tan yet? That's why I'm doing it. I'm trying to get my summer bod. Yeah, I'll take a venti black coffee. Yo, you want a big black one? Nope. I want a venti black. Got it. Big black one. No, no. Venti. Say it with me. Venti black. Big black one. Venti black coffee. I love the big stuff. You want it right now? Y well, yeah, I do. Hey, I'll take a pink drink. Since I'm staying the night here in hell, I won't be with my girlfriend or my kids. I've been with my girlfriend for three years and five months, and not once have I gone to bed without saying goodnight. And I'm not about to start now. Even though I couldn't see what was on my phone, I texted my girlfriend goodnight. Love you, babe. Have the best night ever. Kiss emoji. Well, that's sweet. At this point, I'm exhausted. Okay, my eyes burn. I'm pretty bummed I gave up on the painting. I did selfishly steal your sunglasses so that I could sleep, but I did get a solid eight and I woke up refreshed and now I'm ready for the day. <sighs> Just kidding, I woke up at 3.30 in the morning. The witching hour, I think, I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> My mattress deflated. It's so hot. Huh? <laughs> what did you say? I'm up. And this is where I completely lost my mind. Don't look now, but I think there's a gremlin over there in the corner. I said don't look. Okay, now look. Okay. Are you a medic? I didn't do anything to get this scratch, but I have it, and it looks like it's getting worse by the day. I think it's only been one day. Half a day? 12 hours. I don't know how I did it. I think it's the lights, the UV rays, Johnson's, other prolific YouTubers. Pop another confetti. I think about death a lot. Not to bring the mood down. <laughs> hey, why not be vulnerable? I've always been slightly afraid of death, and by slightly, I mean completely. The whole idea of like eternity, like living on forever with no end, that scares me, but also dying scares me, so I guess I'm just afraid of whatever outcome is out there. I used to hate to go to sleep at night because um, I would always get like panic attacks at night, like because the lights are off, it was quiet, it's dark, and then I'd always be afraid that I would die. Like, I get panic attacks about it, and I don't know why. I don't think, however, that has anything to do with why I turn lights on. I think I just like to see. But yeah, I was thinking about that while here in this light prison of mine. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why I'm so afraid to die. Like, at this point, <laughs> do it. When I was a kid, I was afraid, like, oh man, I'm not gonna get to experience life. Fear of missing out, stuff like that, and now, now that I have kids, it's kind of like I, I don't want to, I don't want to miss out on their lives. FOMO of other people's lives. FOMO of off of <laughs> I don't know. These lights are making me super emotional. Or the lack of sleep. But I just want to cry, but I don't have any more liquid. I've been sweating. I never really asked why my girlfriend likes to sit in the dark. I mean, she's, she, she could barely see anyway, so. She may not even know what I look like, which is a good thing for me. She's way out of my league. I don't know. I started to think about what the point of life is. What was the point in any of this? Was I just doing this to entertain the viewers so I could get Michael Jordan to notice me and play me one-on-one -on -one in a basketball game? Yeah, maybe. All of these thoughts just got stronger and stronger and eventually I... I had a strobe party. <laughs> hey, when life hands you a strobe party, you have two options, okay? One, you can complain, or two, you can make a music video. I did both. Lights out. I can't sleep because of the white lights. I am guided by the limelight. 15 minutes feels like a lifetime. I can't sleep sitting on the sidelines. Eyes are burning, follow it. All of them gotta follow and falling from growing problems and hollow or glowing promises.
I eventually passed out trying to cram all the puzzle pieces together, woke up to 51 dead flashlights in a pretty shocking realization. Jesus! I can go home. I just spent 24 hours in the world's brightest room, and I never want to do this again. Even after doing all the things I love to do, I realized it's, it's not the activity I enjoy. It's the people around me that make me not want to shoot off a confetti cannon every 16 minutes. You know how they say when you die, your life flashes before your eyes? I want to make sure that I have the brightest moments and the brightest flashes that I won't want to blink through. Because in the end, if I've learned anything, it's that even in the world's brightest room, it's easy to overlook what's most important.